You've waited nine long months since part six first dropped. But you've been waiting your whole long life for these two shirts. You had the Dio Giorno. Now it's time for delivery. From Shark Robot. His stand user was inspired by Clint Eastwood. Her stand user has naughty thoughts about Tom Cruise. Together, this starry dad and daughter combined to make... Available on Shark Robot. Link below. Blood Sun Vendetta. It's going. Slow, but it's going. I learned a little 3D, nailed down the original score with Noah, been speaking with an animation studio about help with 3D backgrounds for the next episode, and just plugging away day by day. The one thing I have yet to find is a team. That is... that... oh man, the amount of times I've said that. Uh, Stratomir Art was able to work up a few assets, thank you man, but as before, it's pretty much just me animating this thing. That was never the goal, and continues to be something I'd like to remedy. One thing I have considered is after chapter 6, the end of episode 1, is to go black and white. I've discussed with friends in and outside of Patreon, and after seeing and voicing in Meat Canyon's very, very cool Stink Fiend, I was more convinced than ever that I could be okay with losing color. I mean, the reason is obvious. Production time would be sped up greatly. The end. For me, Blood Sun Vendetta has always been a learning vehicle to get my hands into every piece of the production process. And while I love taking the time to really invest in all these things, there are two skills that I'd really like to focus on now. One is working with a team, and two, long-form storytelling. These were always goals, and the goal of a team was definitely something I've been talking about for a while. Let me just say, there's no shortage of talented and skilled animators out there. There's a lot, and <laughs> they're great. Uh, and this project, I mean, as far as I know, I've been, you know, I've been willing to pay people better than some other projects. But I think the combination of just being objective, that there aren't a ton of eyes on this project. And I'm, I don't give a shit. I just love making the project. And I understand that, you know, it's early on in the story. So it's kind of hard to have all that much hype or investment in something that's just barely started. And I think a bigger issue is that this has a particular style. I think from what you guys have seen in the last few chapters, um, there's not a ton of animation, really, but uh, art style-wise, it is pretty specific. So there's a learning curve for adopting the style. The storytelling part, it's a difficult craft to learn and or showcase at the current pace that I've been able to produce. Um, there's a lot of characters, plot twists, arcs, and more that I've been waiting for years to share and at the current pace, it would take a lifetime to get it all animated. It's not guaranteed I'll make the move to black and white. We'll see how things pan out after the conclusion of episode one, chapter six. If there's more eyes, if there's more support, and there's more people who wanna jump on board that are a good fit, then I'm totally down keeping it colored and hopefully even more animated. If it does continue to pretty much just be me, then yeah, I, I really do think black and white might be the answer, um, just so I can get more story out to you guys. The Man of Heaven. A long time ago, before part six was announced, I designed a white snake shirt, just cause white snake cool. It was a fun little ditty that glowed in the dark and had an homage to gun. Well, to celebrate the new release of part six, I felt like revisiting our old pal priest, Pucci. I'm not trying to be biased here, but it is one of my favorite designs and I hope other people like it too. If it means anything to you, my mom thinks it's cool. <laughs> also available. <laughs> Also available on Shark Robot, link below. Streaming. Art streaming. Wait, what? Yes, art streaming. But I thought you only streamed drunk playthroughs of From Software games at 2 a.m. Point taken. The process of art and animation takes so much time. This we all know. And if I'm not recording voiceovers or walking my dog like an escort mission from Resident Evil 4, he has literally no survival instincts. He is constantly running towards oncoming cars. So if I'm not doing that, I'm probably drunk. That is a lot of isolated art time that I could be sharing a small chunk with other humans on the earth. Is it the peak of entertainment? I don't know. I can't assume your personal tastes. But regardless, it's something I'd like to do, and regularly starting Wednesdays and branching out from there. It's basically music work party stuff. 
I don't really care about this whole DMCA. They're gonna silence your VODs. I, I don't. I, nobody who cares about my VODs. So unless it becomes a problem, we we play whatever music we want. I, I keep hearing that it's an issue and then it's not an issue. I I don't know. I can't keep up with this shit. Anyways, the streams, chat, chill, share what you're working on, keep each other motivated, and most importantly, and most fun, working. Not gonna lie though, I've been having a ton of fun and frustration, but mostly fun, designing assets and formatting CSS for layouts and widgets and stuff for the stream. I'll never be able to shake the web designer out of me. And that's the update. Two shirts on Shark Robot, Blood Sun still chugging along, streams coming up, and my dog Jojo can do some tricks. Jojo. Sit. Good boy. Paw. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Turn around. Good boy. And down. Go. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Bye. Hope you all stay healthy, safe, and sane. That is all.